Welcome to the latest edition of Mitney News in Happy Valley, home of the award-winning Penn State Dairy Science Club. We are your hosts, Hannah Wentworth. And I'm Kane Mitchell. Good evening, everyone. Stories today include hard-earned championships, business outlooks from alumni, community engagement, youth activities, sports, weather, and more. In an August 2012 report from the USA Today, it noted that colleges are seeing a higher demand for degrees in agriculture and deemed Penn State as an agriculture powerhouse. The Dairy Science Club is one of 40 student clubs in the College of Agricultural Sciences. It has been named Club of the Year compared to other dairy science programs across the country for the past five out of six years. Our top stories today are coming to us live from Madison, Wisconsin. Leading up to these judging contests, we visited many farms from across Pennsylvania to across the country. We would like to thank all of the farmers for taking the time out of their busy schedules to host us. Prior to the World Dairy Expo, we competed in two other national contests, one at Eastern States Exposition in Springfield, Massachusetts, and the other at the All-American Dairy Show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. However, in the end, all, road led, all roads led to Madison. While out at the World Dairy Expo, we judged 12 classes representing seven different breeds and gave six sets of oral reasons. We'd like to thank all the sponsors for the contest that we've been in and also for the awards that we received. We really appreciate all your support. Finally, we'd like to thank our coach, Dale Oliver, for taking the time out of his busy schedule to coach us to a winning season. Hi, my name is Max Wolf, a member here at the Penn State Dairy Science Club. I grew up on REW Farm in Lebanon, Connecticut, and last year we had the honor of breeding REW Happy Go Lucky. Happy Go Lucky was the winning fall yearling in milk at World Dairy Expo this year. This report has been sponsored by Cheese Box. We will be right back after these important messages. It's that time of year again when you have to determine a gift to buy someone who is extremely hard to buy for. Well, the Dairy Science Club has a solution for you. It's our holiday cheese boxes, which can be shipped or picked up. Last year, the Dairy Science Club shipped over 2,700 cheese boxes all over the country. The club members are responsible for packing and cutting the cheese uh, right here at the Penn State Creamery. Breaking news everyone, two cows have escaped from the dairy. More on this later. Yeah. And now a message from our president. Hi, I'm Heidi Musaven, and I'm here to update you on some presidential trail happenings. Under my administration, new member integration has been implemented and the results are here. 30 new club members this fall semester alone for a grand total of over 90 active club members. Job creation has also been another priority of mine. I make sure there are industry speakers at our meetings who are looking for employees. Nearly 99% of my members find jobs upon graduation and even more obtain internships. And in terms of health care reform, I believe in leading by example. I have participated in our Osteo Challenge 5K run and also in our renowned IM Sports program. The future depends on all of us and we, the Penn State Dairy Science Club, are ready to make our mark. I am Heidi Musaven, your Penn State Dairy Science Club president, and I approve of this message. The employment rate is high as students are finding work opportunities at the Penn State Dairy Barns. Special correspondent Emma Green is reporting live. I'm here today with Katie Landis, one of the student employees here at the Penn State Dairy, and she's going to talk to you about employment. Here in the backyard of the Beer Stadium, not only do we have the opportunity as students to do research, but we also get hands-on experiences with our cows working here at the dairy. Hi, I'm Thad Wakefield. We're at the Penn State Dairy Barns, where we have nine full-time employees and 20 student employees, eight of which, eight students of which live in the dorms upstairs. We are currently milking 220 Holstein cows, and have a herd average of around 25,000 pounds. Numerous student employment options are also available across campus at other livestock facilities, in classrooms as teaching assistants, 
and in laboratories doing research. Valuable internships, research, and employment opportunities are available and posted on a new career man. In sports news, 19 Penn Staters competed in the London Olympics. And in dairy science intramural sports, the team finished a successful softball season and is showing a strong performance in football. Let's go live with the action that Kelsey Dangman called themselves. Okay, Coach Bartley, how do you feel about your team playing in the first half? Well, right now we're looking pretty good. Our, our defense is keeping us in it right now. Uh, we got some points on the board. Uh, hopefully our defense can hold us there and we'll, we'll pull this one out. He caught it. Okay, that's a good one. The Dairy Science Intramural team will be gearing up for volleyball and basketball in the coming months. We have a lot of talented athletes this year. I'd say so. Do you think any of them are on athletic scholarships? Absolutely not, Hannah, but many of them are getting scholarships from the College of Agricultural Sciences since they award over $2 million annually to undergraduate students. That's a lot of moolah. Oh, for sure. In business, Penn State alumni are succeeding in their careers thanks to their involvement in the Dairy Science Club. My involvement in the Dairy Science Club was extremely influential in my professional development. I was able to be involved in a variety of activities from Fall Classic to Cheese Box, as well as working with the Dairyman's Yearbook. Um, my involvement with the Dairy Science Club gave me lots of opportunities to travel both throughout the United States as well as internationally to get that experience traveling, uh, to network with other companies and other individuals throughout the United States. I was involved in a lot of different activities, but the one that comes to mind is uh, the, dairy, the Nitty Lion Fall Classic. I served as the barn manager for four years uh, during my time there. and. I think that's really helped some of those experiences with building a team and setting some expectations, a schedule, uh, have really helped me in my job now where I work with a team of nutritionists and we work with dairy farmers. Uh, and now for a check on weather in Happy Valley. This is Guernsey Nittany reporting live from atop Mount Nittany. As you can see, it's a beautiful fall day here, which is no surprise because it's always sunny in Happy Valley. Now to my sister, Jersey, with the traffic report. Earlier today, this was the scene of a near traffic accident when cows escaped from the dairy. Luckily, no cows were harmed. Pennsylvania youth are finding numerous dairy activities put on by the Penn State Dairy Science Club. The Penn State Dairy Science Club is involved in many youth activities. Club members help out with the PA Junior Dairy Show, Spring Judging Contest, and Cow Camp. And now, for a public service announcement. Hello! Do you like to run? Are you interested in supporting the dairy industry and raising money for a good cause? The Penn State Dairy Science Club holds the annual Osteo Challenge 5K Run, which raises money for the National Osteoporosis Foundation. This past year, we raised over $700. In upcoming events, there's the annual Nittany Lion Fall Classic consignment sale. Hi, I'm Derek Wasson, this year's Nittany Lion Fall Classic chairman. Currently I'm standing in front of Snyder Ag Arena, which is where we hold our sale every year. Uh, each year we get a selection committee together and go out during the summer and find the best, best lots we can. And then, come sale time, we bring them here for a week, feed them, clip them up, wash them, and then we have our sale. This year it'll be held November 10th at 11 o'clock. We have 110 lines. That concludes this evening's news. Thank you for tuning in for reports on the Penn State Dairy Science Club. For both Hannah and myself, we'd like to say have a moveless day. <laughs>